Ah, YouTube, what up, man? It's your boy DB coming at y'all again with another video. Um, okay, so this weekend it's Sunday evening here, so I'm going to try to lock in a schedule and drop my vids Sunday evenings. And we're gonna start it once a week. Um, I have some extremely slow hardware. This iMac, it's gotta go, man. So I've been working with some friends on a new build, so hopefully um, the editing machine will be coming soon. I'm hearing that next month software, or not software, rather hardware and stuff like that will be dropping drastically as the new tech comes out. So your boy gonna slide in and pick me up a nice editing machine. Uh, Cause to be honest with you, you see me back here, I'm editing the video right now. Um, I would be able to produce a lot more content if it didn't take so long to edit the videos. So that's neither here nor there, man. So I got some some new hardware other than the computer um, here with the ring light. And uh, of course, I'm still shooting with my uh, Sony AX33, FDR, AX33, um, 4K camcorder. And I now also have a video micro. Let me... Boom. Video micro from uh, Rode. Rode microphones. This joint is A1, man. It's, it's legit, man. You're going to see in the video, there's some footage where I'm actually out on a very windy day with some aircraft flying around. And uh, if anyone knows anything about fighter bases, aircraft are extremely loud. Uh, so let's get into the video, man. What I am cooking in this video is, is unprecedented. You see by the title, man, Stingray. Stingray, man. And look, let me tell you how I came to the point of cooking the Stingray. Um, my coworkers, some of my friends, my fellow uh, guys in the shop, they went fishing last weekend and they basically said, whatever we catch, they want me to cook. Too easy, not a problem, man. Any kind of fish you pull up out the ocean, your boy got you. They hit me with Ray. They pulled out some Ray. Now, technically, these are not Stingray, so you did get clickbaited. I apologize. But I believe the actual correct name is the uh, Thornback Ray. So, uh, to be honest, to be 100 with y'all, to be absolutely 100, I was not at all enthused about hearing about cooking Ray, especially when they sent me the pictures. I'm gonna edit the pictures in at this point of the video. These joints do not look appetizing at all so uh i actually researched how to cook them i've never made stingray nor have i ever had stingray but your boy is not one to shy away from cooking anything so i'm a very uh adventurous person in the kitchen and uh, i will try almost anything i saw a few simple preparations for the stingray so that's what you're going to be seeing in this video um stingray nuggets keep it locked As you can see, this is the condition of the fillets as I got them. Uh, the first thing I want to do is get them cleaned up. I did research and found that after a few days of them sitting, they will give off a slight smell of ammonia. So I definitely want to give these a really thorough rinse. I did use some apple cider vinegar, which I did not capture on the film, but I used those, soaked that just for a minute with a little wash of apple cider vinegar and water. Hey, hey. Now at this point, man, those are the cheeks, the cheek meat. I'm gonna leave those as is, they're already nugget size. Now I'm dealing with the filet, and the first thing I notice on the exterior of the filet, there it's mostly cartilage. So I really want the center portion where a good hunk of the meat is. So that's right there is what I wanna isolate, and that's pretty much gonna be my stingray nugget right there. Hey, hey, hey. I 
got my rays all cut up in the nugget form and uh, I just need to make one quick stop off at the grocery store uh, my friendly commissary if you will just to pick up a few more last minute ingredients before I head back to the office where I was actually gonna cook these up I'm gonna have to apologize. This was a really uh, rookie rookie move. I'm shooting outside for one of the first times and I had a lot going on. But uh, basically I missed the inclusion of some minced garlic into the fish as well as the hot sauce. So if you are trying to replicate this recipe, it's a great addition, man. Just go ahead and throw you a couple tablespoons of minced garlic in there.
not your typical fish. It's kind of, kind of stringy, like. I don't know. It's like a meat I've never had before. What's up, man? You getting down? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's cartilage. Yeah. yeah. Christian didn't think about that steam rate, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, so if you made it this point in the video, you the real MVP, man. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not mention that in the description box, don't sleep on the description box of this video. The description box of this video will have both my lighting, camera, and the microphone that I am using. So if you're interested in purchasing and getting your tech up, uh, definitely check those links out uh, to those items. Now, for the Stingray, you saw it, man. It turned out. Like I said, I was extremely apprehensive about making Stingray. Uh, for one, they look weird. For two, they did not smell great when I first got them. However, they turned out, man. I'm gonna say, in the realm of fish, in my preparation, I'm gonna give myself a seven. A humble seven. Um, and the guys in my shop seem to enjoy it. So uh, they ate it all up. I had a few pieces myself. And I was pleasantly surprised. So if you happen to be out fishing and all you can pull in is some Stingray and you have uh, some of these items you can set up at the camper, uh, you know, to get a fry going, by all means, man, go ahead and try this recipe. Extremely simple, very few ingredients, very easy to prepare, and it didn't turn out too bad. So if you're afraid to, you know, step out and be adventurous, don't be, man. There's always something new I'm always exploring to eat that, you know, I'm not a picky eater, so... Uh, anyway, man, that's the end of the video, man. And as always, in even the most humblest of kitchens, you can still keep it tasty.